feet, and if you were going to leave the horses with them, you would start paying for boarding them, which is an expensive proposition, which I know a little, because nobody boards their horses for nothing. Nobody, unless there is some quid pro quo. You know, you're going to paint my house, you can board your horses here, you're going to antique my favorite something, you're going to do it, put your hand down. There are certain things that are common sense and certain things are not. Well, there came a time, perhaps a year ago, that one of the horses started to give them some trouble. Just for my own information, because this I don't know, I'm not a horse person. What kind of trouble does a horse start to get into? Um, a horse may not respect your personal space, so you have a 1,200-pound horse that's charging you. We had a neighbor feeding them, and he almost knocked her down. He was biting and headbutting. Okay, and this was one of the horses? Yes, right. ma'am. So there was some discussion about what to do with that horse? Yes. What did you and the defendant decide to do with that horse? We had spoke with her and told her that it was unsafe for our children or anyone else on the farm. Asked her if she would please remove the horse. She stated that she was going to call Cole's previous owners, see if they would buy the horse. She got back to us and said, our economy was poor out there. People were dropping horses on public ground and private ground because they couldn't afford them. She said they did not want the horse, and she did not know what to do with the horse. Some time passed, and then we had went to her and said, when sometime, when you're talking about sometime, how much time? Probably about two to three weeks that we had not heard back from her. We went to her and said that we attend a Bible camp that has a horsemanship program, and would she be willing to donate the horse to Turkey Hill. And what did she say? She agreed. We just stated that we would have to see if they wanted the horse. And so we contacted them. They came down and looked at the horse and did some things. And Mr. Allen agreed that they would take Cole. Okay. And you signed the horse over to this Turkey Hill? Is that what She did not sign anything. They offered to give a donation letter, but she did not want one. So far, is that correct with regard to Cole? Uh, I don't remember anything about a donation letter, but I did say yes that they could give the horse. So to that's correct. Yes. And that was in what month and year? It happened between March and they picked the horse up May of 2012. And at that point, how long had you had the two horses? We had been starting to board them since April of 2011 when we purchased our farm. Now, the other horse's name is Strawberry. Strawberry is still with you. Yes, yep. ma'am. Well, what do you plan to do with that horse? Um, now, look at me. Don't look down there. What do you plan to do with that horse? Uh, my ex-sister-in-law as a friend who has a farm in Leesburg, and he said he would be glad to have Strawberry come and stay on his farm. And how were you supposed to